Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, today I'm gonna do a video on what I said I was gonna do. A review on the Daisy B B52. I'm gonna need a knife and get it open. I just bought this like three days ago. So just out of the package. I had I own one before. I do have one, but the band's broken. I just didn't buy new bands and my dad just yeah, I said I need a new band, so he just bought me a new slingshot, so I'm going to do a review on it. It says, read the warning labels on the back. Honestly, doesn't really matter. It's common sense. Don't shoot it at a person. Da-da-da-da-da. Don't need that. But uh, slingshot, this was the first slingshot I've ever bought um, when, my, when I got my first one. But I'm doing this brand new. Uh, good thing about it is it has a wrist brace a wrist brace and you can take it off and use it as a normal slingshot if you so choose to and it has a little bit of an arrow rest right there if you want to bad things about it um it has fake leather for a pouch which is not so good the bands are relatively weak i would not use this for hunting i would use this for like shooting a bird our um target practice but this slingshot it's not it's hard to shoot because there's not very many reference points on it and it's not very exact but the bands are very weak for tubular bands very weak i'd have to say for tubular bands very weak bands um good thing about it is it's sturdy and you can switch it to a normal slingshot that's an excellent thing on it uh, it has a small pouch. I do not like that small pouch. Uh, Daisy ammunition I don't use because there's in the steel it's kind of flat and I don't use steel anyway but I use lead. Um, it has good gripping on it. We'll admit to that. It has good gripping. Um, it has a pretty good reasonable pull on how you can get a good how far you can bring it back, but it's not that it's strong. It's just that I can't bring it back any farther because the elasticity is not strong enough. Uh, band changing, I think it's very easy on these. Um, changing the band. And I think I would rate it at a good slingshot for a beginner for target practice. I would not recommend this for hunting whatsoever. Just for target practice. Uh, always wear eye protection I don't because that's me I just don't wear it but um, that's what I basically have to say on this it's a reasonably okay slingshot but you can't beat the price It's only six bucks come on for a wrist brace slingshot that is not bad at all uh, I'll give it a out of ten I would probably give it a like a seven I'd probably give it a seven but for hunting, I don't think it's a good slingshot at all, whatsoever. And that's my review on the Daisy Slingshot. Um, a lot of you got uh, a few of my subscribers want me to get shooting stuff on my videos. And I will definitely start shooting some with my blowgun in the next video. Um, I'll start shooting some tin cans and stuff to show you how good I am. And some uh, pointers on how to shoot. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you in this video is my sling bow that I made out of PVC, black. I'm not going to show you how to make it because you can easily make find a video on the internet that knows how to make it. But I wanted to show you um, my way of doing it exactly on this. Uh, I use different bands than other videos. I used a thorough band. Uh, a red thorough band, but this um, now this has a 53 pound draw pull draw weight 53 pounds that is more than enough to take out a deer That is more than enough to take out a squirrel. That's more than enough to take out a fish 53 pound draw weight and I It and I have to have a release. I cannot pull it back by myself. I use um for small game hunting, I use this Beeman Hunter Junior Arrow, 28 inches I believe it is, 28 inches. 
uh, when you're shooting these, um, the, the W acts as your arrow rest. Now on this, uh, this is something to take place. Make sure the feather is below the rubber so it doesn't kind of bend up on you. But just and try to get a point up so the arrow sticks in the rest. Now that is, this is damn hard to pull back really hard because it wants to come up and hit me in the face because this is 53 pounds. It's not a toy. This can easily kill a deer or a person, easily. Um, but you got, there's a learning curve to know how to shoot it. Now I use this for bow fishing. This is what I prefer it for because the PVC doesn't get rot or anything. But that's just my preference. I use it for bow fishing. You probably use it for small game and even kill deer if your state allows it. My state doesn't, uh, and Missouri doesn't. But I can in Missouri I can hunt small game with this and fish. Um, my Sam, I'm not even. I can't even use a slingshot to hunt animals, which is unfortunate. But I go to Missouri and I hunt with this. This is more than enough to kill anything. It's 53 pounds. That's the draw weight on this. 53 pounds at 28 inches. Not a bad draw weight at all. That's, um, and I made this myself. I'll show you some videos later on on how I shoot it on reference points and stuff. But um, there is a few you can look up on the internet uh, how to make a sling bow. And there's tons of videos on how to make this out of PVC. Um, oh yeah, for a good fishing connection, I would just attach this PVC round one inch and then you stick another PVC right there and this wrap fishing line around it. That is very easy fishing connection for this. Now, um, I have some things to say on, um, on how, what I prefer. Um, I do not abuse animals. I do not hurt animals in an, uh, in an unmannerly way, I take out animals humanely and as quickly as possible. And I use them for my use, or my use or commercial use. I do not kill animals to be killing. Now there is a difference between killing to be killing and pest control. There, uh, and reducing the population. Like, if I went out and killed 50 starlings, I didn't kill them to kill I killed them for pest control because they are a pest, and plus they're an invasive species. Um, so that's basically what I gotta say on the daisy. Next video, I'll get some hunting. I'll get some shooting videos, and I hopefully I'll get some hunting videos soon. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, thank you. Subscribe. Press like. Thank you. Bye.